Hello, good afternoon. So, this is Dr. Raisa Misinarciso and I am now going to discuss to you about forecasting. So, global, the global company profile of Walt Disney Parks and Resorts will be discussed. And what is forecasting? The strategic importance of forecasting, the seven steps in the forecasting system, forecasting approaches, time series forecasting, monitoring, and controlling forecasts. So, learning objectives, when you complete this lesson, you should be able to first understand the three time horizons and which models apply for each use, explain when to use each of the four qualitative models, apply the naive moving average and exponential smoothing, and compute for the three measures of forecast accuracy. So, how do forecasting provides a competitive advantage for Disney, which is also branded as the happiest place on earth? So we are now going to discuss about the global portfolio, portfolio that includes parks in Hong Kong, Paris, Tokyo, Orlando, and Anaheim. So we all know, guys, that revenues are derived from people. So how many visitors and how they spend their money. So, of course, in a established theme park, the more visitors or the more tourists that goes in the um, Disneyland, the more the profit that they will earn. So... Daily management report contains only the forecast and actual attendance at each park. So to ensure high level of or very high level of customer satisfaction, they have to do a daily management report in order to cater the in order to cater the numbers of tourists that goes in the Disneyland. So the daily management report guys um generates daily, weekly, monthly, annual and 5-year forecast. So, ang katong ilahang na collect for survey every every ano every time nga magsulod ang mga ang mga visitors. Nana sila yung mga survey nga ilahang gina check check for example to check the um, satisfaction for example the perception for example and then unsa nga mga rides ang ilahang desired nga gusto nila sakyan. Para ang katong nga mga data ilaha to siyang magamit for daily, weekly, monthly, annual and 5-year forecast. So, another forecast used by labor management, maintenance, operations, finance and park scheduling. So, if they notice that this specific um, day, for example, may tag Saturday and Sunday, mas daghan ang mga gaanhi diri sa Disneyland. Ilahan na siyang pasayuhon ang kanang ilahang ang ang kanang opening time sa Disneyland. For example, magsayo sila open to 7 AM, mag-cater sila kung 7 AM instead of 8 AM. Then mas padugayon nila ang closing time. So instead nga mag-close siya og 8 PM or 9 PM, so himuon na lang na nila og 10 PM just to cater those um mga tourists and mga visitors nga naga to sa Disneyland. And also, this is um, actually very helpful sa labor management, no? Kasi, pag once na makita po nila nga, kani siya is peak season, for example, summer, or for example, kanang um, Children's Day, or Valentine's Day, or anything na ay occasion, for example, kanang natungnan o kanang field trip, for example. So, usually, the best destination is ang ilahang theme park, Jude. So, pag once gani ngayon, Anna, nakita nila sa ilahang forecast, sa daily management forecast, they automatically hire temporary workers. Okay? For the meantime. Para ma-cater ma, ma nila ang katong mga needs sa ilahang mga custom, customers. <clears throat> okay? So, forecast used to adjust opening times. Yun na nga, yung sabi ko. Rides, shows, staffing levels, and guests admitted. So, in the survey that they conducted, guys, ilaha po nang ma-check ma dira ah, if unsa nga specific rides ang daghan kaayo o ka ng mga daghan kaayo o nagkasakay ani. For example, daghan kay gasakay sa roller coast, uh, coaster. So, expect that the queuing the queuing or the waiting line is medyo taas-taas. Pero pag once gani, nga ilaha na siyang ma-forecast in advance. So, mapangitaan na nila way to divert the attention, the, to divert the attention of the customers or tourists in their kuan, katong waiting nila pag wait nila dito ah. So instead nga mahimo silang irritable for example or mapungot sila, mahimo silang ma-impatient ma sila sa paghulat sa ilahang turn para maka-avail dito as a rides. So diraan na nila ginapagawas ang mga cartoon characters 
nga anong kay si Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, for example, Cinderella. So, dili na siya ingon, guys, nga naad siya specific nga time nga ginapagawas na nila for parades ang mga cartoon characters. So, based on the forecasting, ilaha po na siyang ginabana-bana kung unsa nga time possible nga kuan peak, peak time siya or in peak season, diraan na nila mostly ginapagawas. So, pag once daghan kaayo ang ang mga visitors or tourists, the more po gadaghan ang cartoon characters ng ginapagawas. Pero pag once nga gamay ra siya, so gamay ra ang ginapagawas nila nga cartoon characters. Okay, so, 20% of customers come from outside the USA. Actually, so, even ganit kita ng mga Pinoy, for example, a lot of celebrities or a lot of Uh, Filipino go in Disneyland just to experience what is uh, the feeling of being in that theme park. Okay, so usually we go there um, because of, for example, sales seat, promo, or kanang mga airfare na mga, na mga sales. So by having that, by availing with that airfare na mga seat sale, the more nga mas mudaghan ang ato ang mga Uh, the more nga mas mudaghan ang ato ang mga kanang tourist. Okay, so economic model includes gross domestic product, cross exchanges rates, arrivals into the USA, and a staff of 35 analysts and 70 field people survey 1 million park guests, employees, and travel professionals each year. So, that is why the forecasting technique of uh, Disneyland is very successful because they hired 35 analysts and 70 field people served as a numerator that will help on gathering the daily, um, daily survey regarding its attendance, park attendance, and their satisfaction ratings. Okay, so next is inputs to the forecasting model include airline specials, Federal Reserve policies, Wall Street trends, vacation or holiday schedules for 3,000 school districts around the world. So as what I told you guys, dako ka ayun o ka ng impact ang kanang mga seat sale, mga, mga airline trip, for example, kay it's because it actually entire, entice more tourist nga magsulod sa ilahang kuan, nga, nga mag-add sa Disneyland. Okay, so that is why part po na sa ilahang gina. Bantayan. So, there is an average forecast error for the 5-year forecast, which is 5%. So, not bad, no? If we say 5-year forecast, we are talking about the long-term forecast niya. So, usually, it actually um, ended on 5 years. Okay? So, pag may nung 5% na forecast error, it means that 95% Uh, they are 95% confident that their uh, forecasting is reliable. And 5% of it, it is only the margin of error that they considered. Kasi if we say forecasting mga good guys, dili mga good na siya ingon nga 100%, ano, 100% perfect ang ato ang forecast. No? Just like when you are going to do uh, weather forecasting. So, di ba? Ang mga news anchor, maingon man na sila that there is a 95% chance na magulan, for example, or 90% chance na dili magulan, for example. So, they did not commit for a 100% chances na mag, mahitabo jud ang katonggi forecast nila. So, average forecast error for annual forecast is between 0% and 3%, di ba? So, it's amazing that ang annual, ang per year nila nga forecast is na ang banak-banak nila is 3% or even 0 pa jud ang ilahang margin of error. So, unsang pasabot ana? If 0 ang margin of error, they are 100% confident of their forecasting. Nga mahitabo jud siya. Okay? If we say 3%, they are 97% um confident that their forecasting will really happen. And 3% lang ang margin of error nila. So, in ana kakuyaw ang forecasting sa Disney. That is why they were able to give their customers um, high level of ano, customer satisfaction. Maunang gabalik-balik jud permanente sa ilaha ang ilang mga customers and even ang mga tourists. Okay, so now let's proceed to the question, what is forecasting? So, as what you see in our slide, na adari murag manghuhula, di ba? 
So, kung ngayon mag-utog forecasting, mura kag nagbana-bana, no? Pero remember that forecasting is an educated guess. So, meaning, there is a basis kung nga nung naka-forecast ta ani. So, as for the Disneyland, ang ilahang gihim mo nga basis is ang katong ilahang daily management report in which pwede nila to siya magamit sa intermediate um, and then long-term nga pag-forecast. So, it is the process of predicting a future event pero with basis. And then, underlying basis of all business decisions, for example, you have a basis for production, pila ka buok ang imuhang i-produce nga goods and services, for example, sa inventory pod, pila ka buok ang imuhang i-produce nga, nga cars or i-manufacture nga cars, for example. Okay, so sa personnel, mag-harbatag temporary workers, ani, or dili lang usa, for example. Then sa facilities pod, for example, sa Hard Rock Cafe, in which they, they catered 1,500 um, customers each day. So, dako dako jud siya. So, mo nang pag once nga there is a peak season, so ilaha jud nang ginapanukaran, for example, ang facilities na makater tanan. Okay, so, ang mahimong basis for each decision, ani nga mga examples, could be the katong forecasting ang gibuhat ni mo. So, we have here three Forecasting time horizon. So, let us start with short-range forecast. So, short-range forecast actually lasted for one year only. So, mo siya ang ginatawag usahay na to nga annual forecast. Pero, generally, this is less than three months. So, three months to one year. So, usually, ang um, mga involved into short-range forecast is ka mga purchasing, job scheduling, workforce levels, job assignments and production levels for example kay labi na if you are under a department nga usahay naga job rotation sila sa ilahang trabaho for example so gamit ka ayo ang short range forecast so for example um quarterly naga change mo og kanang job routine ninyo kinsa ang mga ma-assign ani diri akaron dili na pud sila ma-assign ani diri karon next uh, next quarter dito na pud sila dapita ma-assign ana Okay, so we also have a medium range forecast which actually ranges from 3 months to 3 years. Pero other books guys, um, nag-overlap mag sa short range no, nga 3 months po diri. Uh, ang uban nga book is 1 month to 3 years po na ang ginatawag nga medium range forecast. So, ang usual ani nga ginabuhat kanyang mga sales and production planning and budgeting for example. So, um, ang kuan ani guys, si UM, for example, we have this annual operation plan in which nga, um, gina target, for example, 3 years or 5 years, ana, if na attain ba siya, for example. So, gamit jud ka ayo na siya because when you have a long term or medium range na forecast, ang direction ni mo sa imong mga action is naka-anchored ana. So, kung while kung may nguntag short range lang ang forecast na to, bro, pag mahuman na siya, then what's next, di ba? So, it is not for a lifetime or for long term ang ato ang mga gina-consider ana when it comes to short range forecast. That is why kita as an individual, usahay we have this dream, we have this hope, di ba? We have this dream to become a certified public accountant, for example. So, that is an example of a long-range forecast. So, whatever is your action is, for example, nga naaka sa eskwelahan, so, ang imuhang mga ginabuhat is nakadirect sa imuhang big picture nga dream in which that you want to become a certified public accountant. So, unsa may buhato ni mo para mahimo ang CPA, so, of course, you need to pass the examinations. You need to be well acquainted with the ka ng mga numbers on how to solve it for example so mao na siyang usahay mas ano mas better sa ato ang kanang mag start ta og long range okay long term na ko an long term nga plan than mag short term lang ta una kay ang long term nga plan imo ha man na siyang i divide divide into ko an kanang bits and pieces para mas achievable siya and ang long range forecast guys usually ranges from 3 years and above Pero sa una, they considered 10 years na plano, pero karon um, dili na advisable ang 10 years. So, 5 years na ang mga long-range forecast karon Kasi ang 10 years mang good, it's subject to variability na siya. So, dako ang possibility nga, dili, dili mo siya ma-attain because of the fast-moving uh, changes 
nga nahitabo po diri sa ato uh, for example labi na in the technology so dili na kaayo ang nga viable kaayo ang 10 years so mo nang usually ang mga long term na mga plan or mga forecast karon is naan lang siya sa 5 years so new product planning for example mag introduce ka mag innovate ka og new product facility location research and development so mo na siya ang usual nga gina forecast in the long run okay so distinguishing the differences Medium or long-range forecasts deals with more comprehensive issues and support management decisions regarding planning and products, plants, and processes. Okay? So, mojo na siya kay, kailangan man judgo ni mo siya pangandaman para ma-attain jud siya ang mga forecasting ni mo. That's why, kailangan og mga comprehensive na mga koan support and then mga report pod kay para ma-address ang pag-attain sa katong imuhang gi, gi set na plan and then gi forecast pod ni mo. Then ang short term forecasting naman usually employs different methodologies than longer ter term forecasting. So, we will be discussing about the different um forecasting techniques later in which makita nato dito kung asa ang mas mas applicable ani. Okay, kani ba siya applicable ba siya for short term? Kani ba siya applicable for siya for medium or long term and so depending na siya actually when you are going to identify what technique are you going to use naka depende man gud na siya kung unsa pud imong plano is it short term uh, medium or long range pud ang plan okay so short term forecast tend to be more accurate than longer term forecast of course kasi kasi longer term um dako man jud good ka ayo effect ang ato ang mga daily monthly, weekly nga mga panghitabo, that could be the reason nga nung dili na to maintain ang long term. So for example kani, nag nagset ka, nagset ka og date, specific date nga mo ni siyang buhaton nimo in the future. But because na ay variable na yung mga fortuitous events nga dili jud na to malikayan. For example, we have this pandemic right now nga mooy na himo nga hindrance para ma-attain na to ang katong long term na to nga goal. So that is why gina-discourage ang katong 5 years and above nga long term kasi it's more on subject to ano kana variability. Okay? So mao na siyang mas gina-consider ang long term as 3 years to 5 years. <coughs> Excuse me. So we have this product life cycle. So in your marketing subject in the senior high school, um I presume that you already discussed about this. We have this introduction, growth, maturity, and decline, no? So, introduction and growth require longer forecast than maturity and decline. Nga naman, pangandaman siya na itong introduction and growth because it is more about product awareness pa mang good. So, kailangan ang ato ang mga customers is that ma-aware sila nga nag-exist imong product. So, dira ang apart, dako-dako siya ang igahin na ito nga panahon na niya niya. Ang research and development pod nato ug ang mga forecasting pod nato dira ah, is mas gamit po jud siya kay para pag-abot sa panahon nga mailhan na jud siya sa mga tao for example then uh, more buyers will come it means that more profit will uh, will be in place so here comes the maturity in which diri nato makita ang stable na profit so kanang murag dili na na siya if we say maturity mo na na siya ang pinakatap niya so there's no there's no way nga mutaas pa ang sales ni Moana kasi usually that's the peak ano peak part na mangod na siya. So it's either imuha siyang i-innovate or imuha na lang jud siyang i i kanang i-reject na jud nimo na siya nga product. That is why ang declining stage is very crucial no kay um there are products nga paspas kaayo ang iyahang product life cycle. Mature lang siya kadali. Then, pagkahuman, decline da yun. Kasi, wala da yun siya nang adapt. Dili siya flexible nga. Ang company mo adapt da yun sa changes. So, just like what happened in Kodak. No? So, pag na nanganat sila ba nga ang katong mga usual nga camera, nga camera nga ginagamit is leading gihapon ang ilahang product. So, here comes nga competitor nga nag, uh, nag verge into ka ng digital camera. For example, mas nipatok siya course because it's digitized. So wala man dayon ning ning go ang ang Kodak ato. So muna siya na absent until karon nga murag naglisod na jud og recover. Okay, so next is as product passes through life cycle, 
forecast as are usual in projecting. Okay? So, ginagamit na siya for staffing levels, inventory, and factory capacity. So, I am actually in the field of human resource management. So, part sa human resource management, guys, is ang um, human resource acquisition na to, in which nga part ana is ang recruitment and selection. So, sa part sa HR pod na field, naapod may ka ng mga forecasting nga ginabuhat para makabalumi nga in this year, kailangan na itong inani nga tao, for example. So, kailangan mag, mag post ta sa job na to, nga, na, that there is a job opening at this part kay para maka, makakuanta dan, ka-attract ta daan o mga possible na to ng mga empleyado. Okay, so gamit dyan siya kay labi na sa staffing na part. Okay, and inventory and factory also. So, let's go with the types of forecasts. First forecast is economic forecast. So, address business cycle, the inflation rate, the money supply, the housing starts, etc. So, I know that you are very aware with this, but um, dako kung kayo ni siya o ka ng role, no? For example, kasi ang economic forecast manggod, dili manggod na, I, I mean, dako manggod kayo na siya o effect jud po sa movement sa ato ang market. So, mo nang ginabantayan siya na siya sa mga businesses, for example, what is the status of our economy right now? Are we suffering? Or are we in great recession? Or are we good in here? So, is it viable that I'm going to continue this type of this type of product? Makaya ba ni siya nga, ma nga, nga mapalit sa mga tao diri a? Ah? So, that is why dako kayo yung impact ang pag-forecast na to, ani. Labi na karon that, that we are experiencing pandemic so, great effect jud ka ayo ang, ang kanang mga example, inflation rate, sudden increase of the kuan, sudden increase of the prices of the products or the goods itself. So, anya, ang problema karon sa mga tao in pandemic, dagdag mga nawad ang trabaho, for example. So, can they afford it? For example, so, diri po din mo mabantayan guys if kailangan ba nga pataasan ako ang price ako ang mga product for example so katung time nga nauso ang investment scam here in the Tagum so kwartahan kayo ang mga tao so nabantayan ba pud nato nga mga prices pud sa mga palitunon is nagtaas okay it's because um constituents can really afford for the higher prices it's because of the uh, money that is circulating in Tagum that time so, we also have technological forecast, no? Very uh, common. Predict rate of technological progress and impacts development of new products. Very good example, ani is mga gadgets. Labi na mga cellular phones. So, layo na kayo ng 3 months, na ano po'y bag-o nga model nga gi-introduce, for example, ang kaninga company. Okay, 6 months. Kasi ang research and development nila is well-funded. Okay, they are always go into competing in their existing nga mga product. Nga mabit nila ang katong current na product nga naa sila mas maayo nga mai-offer. So grabe ang competition when it comes to technology. And if we say technological forecast and then you are involved in a manufacturing um industry, gamit jud ka ayo na siya kay investing in a advanced equipment for example and machineries can be of great edge para sa imuha para maka-create tag quality product and then more sales kasi because of automation and then we also have what we call demand forecast no so it predicts sales of existing products and services so if you see demand forecast the number of the number of market that you are expecting to attain to acquire pila man ang usual nga pila man ang forecast ni mo nga Mupalit, ani, for example, demand, the demand itself. So, muna siya ang demand forecast. Very useful kay ni siya sa mga restaurants, for example, or kanang mga other nga mga, unsa, other nga mga businesses that, uh, other nga mga businesses nga ang involved sa ilaha is offering services. Okay? So, strategic importance of forecasting the supply chain management, good supplier relations, advantage in product innovation, costs and speed to market, and then human resources, hire, hiring, training, laying of workers, yun na, capacity, capacity storage shortages can result in undependable delivery, yes, 
loss of customers and loss of market share. Imbis nga sa inyo ha, kung sila magdine, for example, na malhin na lang sila, it's because fully occupied na siya tanan. And then, kung dilip man siya fully occupied, hinay kaayo ang ang service. Hinay kaayo ang paghatag sa mga food. Kasi dili na makaya dito as a kitchen staff nga mahatag, maluto da yun kay bulky na kaayo ang ilahang trabaho. Diba? So, inana ka-importante ang forecasting. So, we have these seven steps in forecasting. First is determine the use of the forecast para asa man ni ako ang i-forecast. No? Select the items to be forecasted. Determine the time horizon of the forecast. Select the forecasting model. Gather the data needed to make the forecast and make the forecast. And last one is validate and implement results. So later, we are going to discuss specifically about the forecasting model. And then how are we going to compute about that specific na forecasting model? Okay? Pero take note of these realities. Forecasts are seldom perfect. Maunang there is a chance of error or margin of error. It's unpredictable because of the outside forces or factors that may impact the forecast. Especially for Twitter's event. Kanang pandemic, epidemic, kanang storm, bagyo, mga anak, terrorism. So, dili man na nato siya malikayan ba? Okay, so, because ana, we can also be affected sa ato ang kuan di forecast. So, most techniques assume an underlying stability in the system. Yasyong nga, okay ang dagan sa panahon tanan. Okay? That is why there is a specific na forecasting model that is appropriate when, when stability, there is stability, and then when there is unstableness sa imuhang data. So, dili siya ingon nga, dapat i-all and all na to siya tanan. Kanidyo dapat ang ato ang ikuan. I- kanang gamiton ng forecasting model. Okay, product family and aggregated forecast are more accurate than individual product forecast. So, mas maayo dyan ang i- kuan na to siya, generalize, i-average na to siya, I mean, i-average na to siya, dili kay isa-isahon, kay there might be an extremes na ato ang makuha. For example, ang imuhang nakuha ang data, kay katong dili dyan kayo gusto. While ang isa is katong gusto jud ka ayo. So, it falls into extreme. That is why, dili ka dapat mo interpret o kanang result based on what is said by one or two person. So, dapat it must be, we have an enough sample to represent the whole population. So, mo na usually nagkakandak o random sampling. Okay? So, forecasting approach, we have first the qualitative methods. Your Um, aware, namoy, namoy kuan ani daan, namoy da ay awareness with regards to qualitative methods because I presume that in your senior high school, ni agitag research, di ba? Qualitative uh, mostly involves just intuition, um, kuan lang ka ng theories, for example, and experience, for example, So, wala siya yung numbers nga involves, involved in qualitative methods. So, it is used when situation is vague and little data exists. Pag wala gani ka ayo yung proper nga recording, okay, so best ka ayo gamiton ang qualitative method. So, eh, pag na new products, new technology, so meaning, walay past data nga nag-exist, so pinaka the best nga gamiton nato for forecasting is qualitative. Okay, so it involves intuition and experience. So, usually, we hire an expert with this. Mga harta og expert, mga consultant, who has a uh, variety of experiences nga naagian. Relating ani nga issue, for example, or relating ani nga concern ni mo. Kay mo to siya mo hatag og analysis with regards sa available data that you have. Okay? So, we also have this what we call quantitative methods. From the word itself, nga quanti, It involves computation and problem solving. So, it is used when situation is stable and historical data exists. Wala ni siya'y problema pag naatay data nga nag-exist na daan. Labi na ka na existing product, services, and then ka ng mga current technology nga imuha siyang ipa, ipa-assess. So, okay kayo yung quantitative methods. Ang naka-beauty lang sa quanti 
is you will have an objective decision. May nga tag objective, it is really based on numbers and not just on the personal feeling of the um, customer. Pag may nga mangutag kuali usahay, subjective mangut siya. If this is subjective, it is based on intuition and experience. So, it might get biased and naatay mga ma-overlook ng mga factors. That is why, in business and accountancy, mas viable kayo nga ginagamit na ito ang quantity kaysa sa qualitative methods. Okay? So, it involves mathematical techniques. Example, forecasting sales of color. Colored television, for example. Ana. So, we are going to forecast the sale. Niya. Pwede po ta mag-forecast sa demand po. Kinsa itong nag nagapalit o mga inani flat screen, for example, ng mga television. Okay? So, overview of Okay, so, ang next nga topic na to, guys, is about sa qualitative and quantitative na method or forecasting approach. So, for now, taman lang ta sa qualitative mag-discuss. So, ang quantitative, maghatag ko og separate nga video ani para para diretsyo na dayon mo nga ma-open sa ato ang quantitative nga method kasi it involves computation man good, so mas crucial siya. Okay? So, we have here first, jury of executive opinion. So, it is a pool opinions of high-level experts, sometimes augment by statistical model. Kaning jury of executive opinion, naara ni sa mga lima or unong kabuok ng mga expert na manggilingkod na sila and then they are going to discuss about what happened and the facts that they have in the, koan, kanang, in the room. So, Mga kwa ni sila, mga high-level experts. So, meaning, mga bright should gain sila, mga intelligent should gain ni sila, no? So, it involves small group of high-level experts and managers. Group estimates demand by working together. Kumbaga, close ang ilahang relationship when they work together because their um, ideas really count. So, wala mga kut sila ilain nga data nga available. So, meaning, it's really based on their koan kanang common sense and based on their kanang business sense nga koan thinking okay so combines managerial experience with statistical model nagagamit pod sila ana kay pag once nga magdiskus sila ana naga project man po na sila usually they use gantt chart they use pie chart they use bar chart in that so dili pud nila lim ang ilahang trabaho kay ang ilahang output man good is expected to yield a quality output. Okay? So, it's because they are doctors, they are statisticians, they are business experts and consultants. Then, we also have, ah, uh, yes, relatively quick. Okay? Kuan lang man siya, mura raman sila mag-conference, mag-meeting. So, pas-pas ang decision-making din nila. Kaso lang natin ginatawag ng group think advantage. Disadvantage, sorry. So, unsa man ang group think? Pares aning na sa picture, no? Upat sila kabuo. Ikaw diri, ah, panalitan, ikaw ni siya, um, is, dili ka kasabot, musukwahi dyan ka kung unsa ang gidiscuss sa tulo. So, there would be tendency nga kanin sila, kani silang tulo, mag-merge na sila, magkasinabot na sila, nga tanggalon dyan ka sa grupo. That is what we call group think disadvantage. Okay, whenever nga someone is gonna, uh, someone is opposing, someone is opposing the idea of those majority, usahay maningkamot na sila bang nga kanang ma-eliminate ka sa group, it's because you are not helping. Okay, in which nga, ang usual, ang usual judana sa kuan guys, kanang nai mo oppose, nindot mo po na siya kay, sa devil's advocate nga, at least na aman po, na mo challenge sa inyuhang, sa inyong decision, okay? Kaso lang ang mga tao is dili lang jud nila ma uh, dili lang jud nila ma-accept pud ang fact ba nga ni oppose kasi ila ha. Okay? So, mo na siya ang kulba. <laughs> okay, we also have this Delphi method. These are panel of experts queried iteratively. So, it's somewhat synonymous gamay pero napud siya kalainan sa ato ang jury of executive opinion kasi naamangod siya three kabuok nga participants ani before they make a decision first is that they go with the with the staff administering survey magkandak sa jud na survey una 
Tapos, ang respondents, tagtagan sa survey, those are the people who can make valuable judgment that will be later used in the decision making. So, whatever the result of the survey, here comes the decision maker nga mauna siya ang mo-evaluate sa mga responses and to make a decision. Okay? So, iterative group process continues until consensus is reached. So, it is just like typical when you are going to conduct a research. At the end of the research, there is a recommendation part and conclusion part. Sa conclusion, i-conclude sa ni mo ang katong unsa iyahang mga results sa study or results sa survey. Ang recommendation, this is where you're going to make a decision or make a plan or program that will help on improving the katong unsa, katong um, problem na existing. Okay, nindot ang Delphi method kasi naadjud kay basis when it comes to um, when it comes to making decision nga nganong inani man ang buhaton, nganong inana. Okay, dili siya purely based on intuition lang. So, we also have sales force composite. So, estimates from individual salesperson are reviewed for reasonableness then aggregated. <coughs> So, usually, ang sales force composite, guys, kay ginagamit ni siya sa mga kanang salesperson nga usahay, for example, kanang mo ato sa, mo ato sa hospital, kanang mag sales talk about sa ilahang medicine, sa mga doctors, ana. So, they usually use an aggregated nga kuan, nga result for them to forecast and give it to the, to the, local, national, and international nila nga branch para to make a forecasting about, for example, pila ka buok ang drugs nga or medicine or tablets nga uh, mo ang iproduce para ani nga kuan, para ani nga bulana, for example. So, naka-base to siya kung unsa tong mga na kuha diri or gireport sa ato ang mga salesperson. So, ang Salesforce Composite, guys, each salesperson project his or her sales and combined at district and national level. And sales representatives know customers want and may be overly optimistic. Kana lang, ang uban kay para mugwa po ilang record, ilaha lang pong, ilaha pong ginapa, gwapa pag-ayo ang kuan, ang result sa ilahang, sa ilahang survey. So, mo nang usahay ma- exaggerate ang result nga, uy, dako kaayo dapat atong i-produce kay, dako kaayo siyang na-close nga deal. In which nga, ilaha na da itong ipa kuan kuan ka nang exaggerate lang siya dahi nila, which is not good. Okay, the last one is the market survey in which it is the usual um, type of qualitative methods. So, it is done by interviewing informants or respondents about a certain um, variables. For example, you are going to ask the customer. So, in a qualitative, usually, nagakandak ni sila ang FGD or focus group discussion, just like sa inyong research in the senior high school, para ma-discuss dito ah, ang mga research questions na imuhang gisip. Okay, para ma makuha dyan na to ang data nga important para makakreate ta o mga themes or ang katong mga specific factors nga maoy mahimong answer jud for example sa mga questions nga imong create so in the market survey they ask customers about purchasing plans for example useful for demand and product design and planning so usually the questions in market survey using qualitative methods guys is an open ended question so meaning it actually um uh, it actually let the informants give some further answering. So, dili siya close-ended nga. Yes or no lang ang answer. So, ma-motivate ang mga respondents or informants dapat nga mag-sumpay jod o ka nang maghatag jod o full nga answer para sa mga question. So, that is the beauty pod of market survey. So, what consumers say and what they actually do may be different. Kasi usually kita no, pagpangutan-unta, 
mahadlok tang storya kung unsa ang tinuod siya nato nga ginabuhat kasi we might get judged for example sa katong mga answers nimo so that is why pagwapohon jud nimo ang imong tubag so mao lang na siya ang isa sa disadvantage on having the market survey kasi basin pur's ideal tanan ang mga ginapangingon sa imong mga informants or some may even fall into extremes na yung mga best mga guapo kaayong mga tubag or napoy mga worst pud kaayo ang mga tubag niya so mao lang na siya ang drawback kay if we say market survey man good guys Dili mo siya para sa quantity nga volume in volume ang imuhang ginakuha ang data. So usually gamay lang kaayo ni sila nga sample nga ginakuha nato. So in your thesis, for example, you are just required to have 14 informants, di ba? So pito ka in that interview and then pito pud siya ka katong um, focus group discussion. So is it enough to represent the whole population? So that is the question with regards to qualitative methods. So, maybe overly optimistic, yun na nga ingon ako sa inyo ha, it can fall into extremes. Okay, so, um, overview of the quantitative approach, we have five um, topics found in the book of Heiser and Render, the naive approach, moving average, exponential smoothing, trend projection, and linear regression. So, ang kaning first four, this is associated with the time series models kasi from the word itself na time series, it involves ka ng historical data from the past times. And if we say number five, the linear regression, it actually tackles associative model kasi it actually discusses about correlation of some variables. So, usually, the linear regression was used in the kanang research thesis or dissertation so mo na siya ginagamit so in the purpose of having this forecasting topic we are just going to discuss about the first three the naive approach the moving average which is composed into two katong sa original niya nga moving average and then the weighted moving average and the third one is the exponential smoothing so on our next video we are going to discuss about this three um, quantitative approaches. Dili lang ta mag-discuss sa 4 and 5 kasi medyo higher, mangod ni siya nga unsa nga discussion. Okay, so see you on our next video. Thank you!